All right, we are at Embers, right where we're supposed to meet Hanako. Blue Moon says money sent. Thank you, Blue Moon. Thank you. Figured we should probably stop messing around now, so I switched back to the Johnny outfit. I'm also using his gun, and I actually bothered putting in the mods and all that. Not the best ones, but probably better than no mods at all. Also put a bunch into the shirts too. So now I'm like immune to poison and shock, increased crit chance for both of these, and you know, immune to bleeding. A lot of good stuff here. Hopefully it'll be smooth sailing combat wise. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we should probably distribute our points now too. We're not at level 50 yet, but doing it now seems to make sense to me. We have five attribute points. So I can probably only max out intelligence or cool. Does it really matter? If I had planned out better, I probably could have um, done both, but I'm missing one point, so that's just how the cookie crumbles, I guess. Maybe let's do the perk points first, because we can see what's actually useful here. For stealth, a lot of it seems to be related to poison for some reason. While in stealth, increases health regeneration. Is that necessary? Because if we're in stealth, we can probably just pop a medkit anyway. This is good though. Cheat death when your health drops below 50%, reduce incoming damage. Mm hmm. Deal 20% more damage to enemies affected by poison. Are my mantis blades poisonous? I don't think I have any poison damage right now. Oh, the Malorian has 5% poison chance. Chance. But the rest of it, not really. If I want to see the Mantis Blades... Oh, I have one more slot too, but I can't fill it. Okay, this one has 20% poison chance. So maybe poison will do me a little bit of good. Although, the Mantis Blades is not stealth. And we're finding this under the stealth tree right now. <laughs> yeah, well, six points. Let's have a look first. Icy Veins, Weapon Recoil. While Cold Blood is active. See, Cold Blood level 20, this seems really good to me for fighting. Not that we really have too much trouble with fighting anymore, but, you know, still. It'll be nice to stack up on. 20. This might be a reason why I'd prefer... Cool being 20, over intelligence being 20. Take a look over here. Breach protocol? I don't really care about the RAM and the duration of a quick hack and all that stuff. Yeah, not a huge hacker during combat. During combat, I prefer to just plainly shoot people. Level 20, transmigration increases breach time. Oh, this is so unnecessary. We've never even come close to not having enough time for Breach Protocol. And this is a level 20 too, what? That seems kind of wasteful. Hmm. Upgrades the Mass Vulnerability Demon, causing enemies in the network to also take damage. Okay, well, okay, okay, fine. I'm not sure how much I'll use it. Yeah, that's also level 20. Increases duration of demon effects by 100%. Hey, this is, uh, this picture here. It's Gendo, Shinji's dad from Evangelion. So is this one. <laughs> I just noticed that. Hmm. Huh. There is probably a lot of references here. Uh, quick hacking? What about quick hacking? Quick hacks that spread can jump to one more target. Sure. That could make stuff like Contagion a lot better. Oh, I can keep increasing this. Hmm. Quick hack duration. The crafting I've completely abandoned. What about the level 20? Ram recovery? No. Maybe I'll do one more for this one. Yeah? Okay, well, looking at by that, judging by that, I feel like probably I'd rather max out cool. Does that sound cool? Uh, pun not intended. Yeah? These ones I've pretty much abandoned. We're not getting too many perk points here anymore. Okay. Three more perk points, put it into cold blood. Level 20... Oh, you know what? It says level 20 in cold blood. It's not just cool being level 20. I gotta bring cold blood to level 22. And none of my stuff are even close to 20, really. So that doesn't really matter then. <laughs> okay. Three more perk points, just randomly 
put it here and there. Enemies affected by poison are slowed. Okay, maybe I'll have to think about this, and... I don't mind putting one more point into the spreading the plague. We'll see how that goes. We're still gonna get one more attribute point, so we'll see. Okay. Oh, just as a refresher here. We both knew this time would come. If we don't think of something quick, you'll die, and I'll go with you. It's time for our final meeting. We're meeting Hanako because she has a plan. No, the last time we met her, we told her that Yorinobu killed Saburo. And initially, she didn't believe me, but later she did. Is Hanako really still supposed to be missing? You reach the point of no return. When you enter the restaurant, you will be locked out of all unfinished side jobs and other activities like gigs until your main jobs are complete. Yes. Just to have a last look here. Nope. Only missions I've got are buying cars. I can't believe it. In the beginning, there were so many markers, but now it's reduced to um, not too much. Wow. Oh, jeez. God, I feel sick. Don't like this at all. This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. I know. I'll be careful. Not exactly one of your strong suits. Is it yours? Listen, first sign of trouble, we Delta. I don't think being careful is your forte either. Hanako sama ga omachi da. She emptied the place. Shit. Probably don't want people overhearing. All oh, her golden touch. Her piano playing that made a journalist cry. Excellent. You have come. A little bit of respect goes a long way. Thanks for meeting me. Of course, V. And I thank you. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. You weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me. If your Nobud killed your father... No? I knew. From the start. You what? No. All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate, inconsistent. Somehow shocking, but also not shocking. You well, knew then, but didn't do a thing about it. Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Power. Family. Our family. I was to be its heart. To uphold life. Ensure continuity. Stability. Never to oppose it. Huh. Guess your Nobu's instructions were a little different? Yorinobu raised his hand against our father. But he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. 
It's kind of the whole traditional Japanese Arasaka values again. It's probably embarrassing. <clears throat> is everything in order? It's embarrassing that something like this has happened within their family, and they gotta save face by pretending nothing happened and everything's all right. Mm hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard. It'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yurinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Hanako grew up in Japan within the Arasaka family, right? And then Yorinobu grew up with the nomads. Well, then. So that might explain, I don't know, maybe Yorinobu's not that much about family. Seem on edge? Something got you spooked? I don't know. Three times now that AB has flown by. Think someone might have tailed you? We must not get distracted. Did you bring Soul Killer? I didn't see it fly by three times, but I definitely noticed the one time. Take me for a fool. Think I'd fall for that? Got plans to walk out of here alive. Had I any ill intentions, I would have chosen a side far more discreet than this. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Minen, Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Hearing her out is fine. Wanna leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. <sighs> it's very awful. Johnny died at Arasaka Tower and now we're being led back there again. And you'll help me in exchange for... My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Don't think I'll be drinking that. Just <clears throat> say it. Is be easier that in way. Order? I want him punished. Still vague. You want him dead. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama, soro-soro gojitaku ni omodori itaraite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Let's assume it works. Then what? You take the Arasaka throne? Where would you get that idea? Figured it as a given. Besides, Takamura said you were supposed to step in for Yorinobu here in Night City. Everyone must know their place, V. That is a fact my brother has never understood. I know my place, and I have no wish to change it. Know my place, too. Know exactly where I came from. 
Maybe. Once it's all said and done, I'll find my way back there. Perhaps. If you can prove your value. Jesus, I'm gonna fucking puke. So? Want me to throw Yorinobu under the bus in front of Arasaka Top Brass? Call me crazy, but that sounds like fucking suicide. This I know. And that is why we will take all the necessary precautions. Like, such as? You will see. I don't trust your security detail. We were able to smuggle you out of the parade fine. If we wanted to kill you, you would have been dead already. So no, I don't trust that. Mm, if we testified, we'd be Hanako's friend and a lot more people's enemies. We can't say yes, but we don't have to say no. We can think about it. Oh, Johnny, of course, is not very not receptive to this. Offers intriguing. Need to think about it. Naturally. But think quickly. Yorinobu is on high alert after the parade. He may harbor suspicions. We're getting the fuck out of here. Are you well? Yeah, it's just, um... You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. I've never seen the blood on my hands. Ah, I'll think it over. You could use some air right now. Fucking busboys here must make a killing in tips. They might make more money than me. <coughs> oh, shiz. Still want to look around a little bit. Stop complaining and get rich, okay? Hmm. I'm not 100% immediately against what Hanako's saying. We don't know enough about her. How cunning is she as a person? But I feel like cooperating with a corpse goes against everything we've been doing. Believing in the corpse is exactly why we ended up here. Attention, VIP guest. We are expecting a VIP guest today. Cancel everything. Please emphasize, the future of Embers may depend on this visit. Oh, we need some air. We need to get out of here. I warned you. What, what are you doing? Shit, we could be hours from it now, V. If you can't stand on your own two feet. While I'm good to go, body listens to me. See what I'm getting at? Yeah, I get it. And don't like it one bit. I'm still Come going on, strong. Come on, face the facts. Pop some pseudo endo scooch, and let me get behind the wheel. I'll get us to fucking Mikoshi. Uh huh. How exactly? Without that porcelain cunt's help, that's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. Maybe she just stuck her neck out for you a half a century ago. But now, I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. You thought in the op. We'll blast our way into Sokka Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find the way inside Mikoshi. It's our only chance. I don't know, Johnny. You died in that op, okay? And Rogue, the last time we spoke with her, she ex she wasn't exactly happy with you. Do I even need you? Could ask Rogue myself. Won't take a risk this big with someone she still sees in Merc diapers. With me, it'd be just like old times. But Johnny, old times have passed. What about Pan Am? She offered help. 
Listen up, V. Those guys are trailer tuggers. An assault on Arasaka is just not another convoy to Jack. You already tried this with amateurs. Both know how that ended. And you tried it with pros. Didn't end any fucking better. You don't want those people involved. Their lives on the line, possibly on your conscience. Our one hope is sitting at the afterlife right now, and her name is Rogue. Hanako's offers on the table. I'm sorry. Whose? Oh, God, the crap. She actually has power. Could be our ticket. Our ticket, huh? Okay, I see your angle. You think working with the corpo cunt is gonna sweeten the deal? Well, let me tell you something. The corpo kleptocracy is not an option. Rogue and I will handle this, just like we used to. Stop making it sound like there's no room for discussion. I kind of like considering Hanako's offer from the perspective of a corpo background. Because it's kind of like we're slipping back to our old habits. Mm, but I don't, I don't actually like the thought of cooperating with her, though. I need more time. Need to... Don't you get it? Time is something we are fresh out of. Gotta stop you, dickhead. What's your scheme? This is my body. I make the... Not most. this time. <laughs> Johnny! Jesus, look at you. Can you... Whoa, shiz! you checking out again? Oh no. No, it's not what you think. Not yet, anyway. Easy there. Don't move just yet. Vic. Vic. You're in pain, I know. Delirious when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. It means your optic nerves aren't damaged. My head. Ah. Uh. Almost done stabilizing the biochip. No, feels like. Someone's using your head as a knife block. How? <clears throat> How'd I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. Gave Misty a hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table and demanded you be treated immediately. Talman was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh. You heard that. I wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. So, <clears throat> how bad are we talking? That bad, huh? Shit. All right. That should be a little better. Try sitting up carefully. I'll try. Think I'm getting some feeling back. <sighs> Sit slowly. Another victory for the history books. If you got something to say, Vic, just say it. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands, understand? So did Johnny give me back control after bringing me here? Oh shoot, Misty's there. Uh, V? Take matters into my own hands. The fuck you think I've been doing? Well, whatever it is, it keeps landing you on my table. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah, what about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo-endotrizin there. A gift from Misty. 
Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you, and you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endotrizine, Rogue Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Enough, Johnny. I just... I gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not, just not in this basement. Oh my god. Christ, you're talking out loud. Uh, out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. Think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. Say, who won the bout? Oh, so you heard that. Did he get up? Walsh, was it? No, nope, never does. Meaning? It's a rerun. One I'd like to go back to. Why'd you get so mad, then, if you already knew who won? Oh, no, really. Guess I like to think about where Walsh might have tripped up. Any theories? Entering the ring against a stronger opponent, but feels a little strange to call that a mistake. It's life. You don't get to pick your opponent. Can't thank you enough for all you've done, Vic. Only wish I could have done more. Go on now. I want to close up. Take the meds and do what you gotta do, V. Thanks, Vic. Oh well. And you hang in there too. Good luck, kid. I'll need it. Hey V, I heard. Well, your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy for either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure. Got a feeling Vic's had enough of me as is. Don't be mad at him. His chakras are all blocked up today. Plus, he's had too much coffee. And let me guess. My aura's sputtering? Mm-hmm. Afraid so. Sure. Lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What, what's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Oh, we have a lot to think about. Oh, are we going to the roof? Top floor. He had the same glum face. Who, oh, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumba's on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm-hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but... He found the courage to bet on himself. I brought him here. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Air. See that? Oh, we've sat here before. I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. 
Oh, just sit. Mull through some shit yourself. Thanks, Misty. You were right. Choice spot. So what? What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. Not what you expect. No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. There's a certain kind of elegance in not saying goodbye and just noping out. But we'll call. Judy. Yeah. Even I've grown to like her. She ought to know that. Hey, Judy. Oh, hey, V. What's cracking? Time we, uh, went swimming. <laughs> A lot of fun, wasn't it? What you said then, about what you sensed in me. Death. Wish it had been anything else. Something nice. Hey, not like it was your fault. Here's hoping it comes out better next time. Listen, whatever it is you're gonna try, just be careful, okay? I'm here waiting. Thanks. Do my best. <sighs> okay. What's good you called? Wish I'd had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think, it all started in a fucking landfill. <laughs> then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then... You'll have your own soul on your conscience. Oh, this is hard. There's no one option that I'm really, really, really leaning towards. Of all these three, Arasaka, Hanako, it's the only one where Hanako is like, I know how to save you. The other ones will have to be feeling around and hoping we stumble upon the solution to save myself, if at all. And what's gonna happen to us at the end of this too? Will you be gone, Johnny? Will I be gone? Will we both be gone? I kind of see Panam as middle of the road here. Rogue and Johnny, that's the one that Johnny wants, and he really, really doesn't want this one. Whereas maybe if you think about it from a corporal background, a corporal background V, she might be really kind of leaning towards this one, falling back to her old habits and all that. So maybe the middle of the road, where... Yeah, middle of the road. Both of us, V and Johnny, are not really getting the option we really want. I'm gonna do all of this later. Gonna try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. What does that mean? There is another option, you know. What? We put all this. The pills, 
everything to bed. If we don't try something, anything, we're both doomed. Okay, not my best idea ever. Forget I mentioned it. Yeah, we'll look at these extra ones later on, not like during our first run. Okay. Gonna try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. Kinda miss Pan Am anyway. Uh I know I'm gonna look at all of it later on, but I'm still thinking about this seriously. There is there's not enough information. We just have to do something and hope it works out. Yeah. Can you try this with Pan Am? Got a feeling you're gonna regret this decision. And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out. Just wanna be there for it. Aware. See you inside Makoshi. Johnny? Okay, just me now. Oh! I can still call Hanako? Hanako is a much sure way for us to survive, but I mean, uh, but then Johnny might get wiped. And even if he doesn't, if I die and Johnny takes my body, and he realizes I went with Hanako, it's not gonna be pretty. Oh, I hate that Johnny went, Oh, I think you're gonna regret this, because I'm already kind of regretting it. Why would he say that? He should be okay with- I mean, he shouldn't be okay, but just don't say things to discourage me. You're lowering my morale. Ugh. V? Hey, Pan Am. What time it is? I know, but need your help. You owe me a favor. What's so damn urgent? I couldn't wait until morning. My life. Need a way into our socket tower now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny. I don't do something soon. I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why our socket tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to. Well, odd as it sounds, a prison of souls. A prison of souls? <laughs> Knew this might not fly over the hollow. Wakoshi, that's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. W okay Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right, I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Oh... Friends like that are hard to find, V. I feel like at the very back of my mind, though, I feel like Johnny is right. That Panam, like, she's very loyal, and we're good, but... <clears throat> does she and the Aldecaldos and the Nomads, do they have the specific skill set we need to survive this? Yeah, we might be able to break in, but then if they die, and then, uh Loyalty is great, but it's not... Every group has its talents, and I don't know. We already decided we gotta keep going. No doubts. Is that you, V? Or... Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Hey, little buddy. Who do we have here, huh? 
That's Mr. Brightman. We found the poor guy in the trash behind the clinic. I think he misses Jackie. Ain't alone. You should come to my place. I have another one of your friends. Three in the morning. Since you have to wait, mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Oh, okay, definitely Johnny. He has one great disturbance. <laughs> the final cards are about your futures. The lovers. <sighs> Something that doesn't give me the chills. Finally. Balance, friendship, love. Though it can also mean difficult choices ahead. Ain't that the truth. Okay, and Johnny's? The moon. Well, that doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. She's here. Hmm. I think that's for you. Yep. No mistake in that ride ever. The moon. Hi. Man, it's good to see your face. Jesus, you really do look terrible. Thanks. I feel worse. Then we had best not waste any time. We have a long road ahead of us. Come on. Everybody's waiting at camp. Look out for yourself, Fee. Thank you. You too, Misty. And thanks for everything. Take care of Mama Wells and Vic for me.